Hello, this is Dustin Hookstra, Applications Engineer Architect with Cadence. Today I'll be giving a demonstration of the Celsius integration with AWR Microwave Office. And this one will be a multi-tech simulation where we have a Mimic device in a QFN package on a PC board. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, here I'm going to give a demonstration of the integration of AWR Microwave Office with Celsius. This is kind of a part two of that of a previous demonstration. Here we're going to show higher levels of integration. So what we have here is an amplifier and uh, a mimic amplifier that you can see over here in the 3D view as well. If I go to the test bench, I can see I'm sweeping it from 0 to 27 dBm. If I run my simulation here, we'll see the power sweep. And I've placed a marker here. Let me make that full screen. You can see at 23 dBm, I'm getting into a decent amount of compression at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an output file here. Um, this one is going to be placed at also 23 dBm out. And what that does is it creates a text file here, which can be used to uh, used as in reference for thermal analysis. What it's done is it's shown the power dissipated for each one of the, the components in the amplifier design. So here I have an extract block, which allows me to create this uh, EM document, and I use that as a sub-circuit to place, let's get a good 3D view of this, to place into a QFN package with bond wires connecting it, which further gets, that QFN package gets placed on a PC board. Those parts weren't extracted, those were manually added here in the 3D, in the, in the 2D layout in there, before you can see it in the 3D view. So what I've done is I've created three different scenarios here. One is the PCB with no thermal vias, one with a heat sink, and one with, with thermal vias. So that way you can do a comparison to see how adding these thermal geometries will affect the thermal output. So once each of these thermal structures is created, I have an option. I can open a native editor, as I did with my previous demonstration, which I'll show real quickly right here. When I do that, it will launch the Celsius 3D, 3D solver um, and layout environment in the background here. And so that'll pop forward in just a moment. And as I mentioned, this is an optional step. This is only if we wanted to do, to view um, in more detail the actual uh, solving steps as well as getting a, a visual of the, of the 3D structure in Celsius. And this one takes a moment just because of the complexity. Uh, we're using three different technologies, going from something at a PCB level all the way down to the, the submicron uh, mimic level. And so here it is in Celsius. And so we can see we're getting the same information if we wanted to um, look at our parts right here and maybe look at the um, turn off the overmold. we can see the, the device in here. So it's nice as we don't have to replicate the geometry again. So I'll go ahead and close that off, not save any changes. And then so here, if we look at our no thermal vias, make sure that's the one I'm looking at here. If we go to our no thermal vias setup, we can look at that here and turn on our annotation. We can see we're getting up to 245 degrees, which is pretty hot. Um, if we want to, we can add a cut plane here to get a visual of things kind of inside the package, if you will. Um, maybe what's more helpful is looking at it, the cut plane in the Z direction, so we can see inside the package quite easily and see where the, where the heat really is coming from. If we zoom in, we can see that a little bit better. And so as I mentioned, we get about 245 degrees at the, at the hottest point. Um, if we look at our next one with a big heat sink underneath it, we can go to the, the 3D view of that one. Here we can see we've dropped that down all the way to 61 degrees, so making a very significant difference. And with this one, we have the, the mesh included in the annotation, so we can see actually how the structure is being meshed for thermal analysis. And lastly, we'll go look at the 3D view with the, with the thermal vias included. And for this one, um, just give it a second to pop up here, we can see we're getting somewhere in between 131 degrees Celsius at the hottest. So. That is uh, the conclusion of this demonstration. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, please go to cadence.com.